Good day, Honorable Board of Judges. The Katipuna National High School researchers present the action research entitled Effectiveness of Connect for Game in Improving Problem Solving Skills of Grade 9 Students and Projectile Motion. The researchers are Alma W. Tabasa, Louis J. C. Twiza, Nelborn C. Quinca, all of the Science Department, Katipuna National High School. Runic projectile motion was one of the foundations to master basic principles of physics in grade 9. Unfortunately, this was also one of the topics that grade 9 students of Katipuna National High School had found difficulties with. Students find it hard to investigate the relationship between the angle of release and the height and the range of projectile motion. Hence, it was considered as one of the least learned competencies for school year 2018-2019. Connect for Game is one of the games that offers the same positive benefits to teaching and learning process. The poor performance of the students, particularly in this topic, contributed the low mean percentile score or MPS of the grade 9 students, which indicated that students were far from the 75% standard passing level. Why connect for game? The game provides opportunities for students to create patterns, develop production and problem solving skills. To find ways in improving this skill was one of the primary goals of the science teachers of Katipuna National High School. This study presented the effectiveness of connect for game a game-based learning strategy in improving students' problem-solving skills of grade 9 students on projectile motion. It is a competitive game-based learning that offers collaborative, interactive, and engaging environment for students to learn. Connect for Game encourages students to be participative in the learning process. It also offers a unique structure that complements traditional way of teaching with an integration of the innovative thinking and provide diverse teaching methodologies. The main objective of the study is to determine the effectiveness of Connect for Game as intervention material in improving the level of problem-solving skills of grade 9 Yakal students of Katipuna National High School in investigating the relationship between angle of release, height, and range of project time. Specifically, it sought to answer the following questions. First, what are the levels of problem-solving skills of grade 9 students in investigating the relationship between angle of release, height, and range of project time in terms of mean scores, MPS, prior to introduction of Connect for Game and after exposure of the Connect for Game. Number two objective, to find out if there is a significant difference in the level of problem solving skills of grade 9 Yakal involving projectile motion prior to introduction of Connect for Game and after exposure of the Connect for Game. For our methodologies, this study utilized pre-experimental method since there was only one group for pre-test and post-test. Where 35 grade 9 Yakal students of Katipuna National High School were selected using simple random sampling, regardless of their gender and academic achievement in the class. This study used a modified Connect4 game board with 8x8 eight eight holes in it where chips are placed and was used during intervention using the game-based learning strategy. In order to measure students' performance after the intervention, respondents were given a teacher-made 10-item test in varied degree of difficulties. Item analysis was used to validate the instrument.
paired sample t-test was the statistical strategy used in this study. Since there was only one group in the study with two sample results, pre-test and post-test, the level of problem-solving skills is determined using the mean percentile scores of both tests and were transmitted in accordance to DPED Order No. 8 series of 2015. The following were the adjectival and numerical ratings used. Outstanding, 90 to 100. Very satisfactory, 85 to 89. Satisfactory, 80 to 84. Fairly satisfactory, 75 to 79. Did not meet expectation below 75. For our results and discussion, Table 1 shows that mean scores of students increased by 1.6571 points after the intervention. This means that MPS scores increases when students are exposed to CFG strategy. This was enough to achieve a satisfactory remark from did not meet expectation. Table 2. Results of paired sample t-test. Table 2 revealed that students exposed to CFG obtained significantly higher score than when they were not exposed to it. There is a strong evidence that the use of CFG as intervention material improved the marks of the students. For our findings, MPS in the pretest was equal to 48%, with mean scores of 4.8, standard deviation equal to 2.386, significantly differed with MPS in the post-test, which was 65%, with mean scores of 6.57, standard deviation equal to 1.686. The mean scores increased by 17% from 48% to 65%. The use of CFG was effective in increasing the MPS. The researchers concluded that CFG increased the MPS of the grade 9 students, that CFG significantly improved the problem-solving skills of students relating to projectile motion, from did not meet expectations or below 75% to satisfactory 80% to 84%. The researchers recommended that teachers are encouraged to use game-based learning in line with the learning competencies to motivate students. Connect for Game should be used in grade 9 students as an intervention material in improving the problem-solving skills of grade 9 students on projectile motion. To maximize the efficiency and the benefits obtained from the CFG, the researchers will develop and make this as an online game. The researchers recommended more to conduct more research in the pros and cons of CFG in classroom instructions, needs good planning in the conduct of study for better results, and develop CFG online game that is accessible through Android and PC or tablets. For our appendices, this slide shows the students who are performing the CFG in which uh, you can find their faces happy while learning. Next, you can find our modified CFG board used in the study. We're in, in the y-axis, you can find the uh, initial velocities and on the x-axis are the angle of release. While on the other side is the original CFG board in which the, the picture is credited to the Google. In the next slide 
shows the modified shifts used in the study. Then we have here the score sheets, a blank score sheet. Here in this slide, you can see the field score sheet. On this slide, you can see the list of presenters during our fourth division research congress and which one of the researches is our action research entitled effectiveness of connect for game or cfg in improving problem solving skills on projectile motion of grade 9 students this slide is the picture or shows the picture of the researchers as they join me in their action research. Thank you and God bless.